Transformers meets the sky. <laughs> no, it's Nick Knives in disguise. <laughs> I don't, man. This is cool. This dude here's got some. This got some English stuff on there, numbers and serial numbers and stuff, and then it's got some what appears to be Asian this set and the other blah blah blah. But right there in the middle, it says Molly M O L L E. I thought. <laughs> Molly was actually spelled with a Y. Why? I don't know. It's actually spelled with a M O L L E, is how you actually spell it. So, this is uh, kind of got some weight to it. It's got a little, little heftiness to it. I don't know what kind of plastic that is, but I was asking when I was looking through the plastic, it appears to be. It comes up to the hand. It appears, whatever this is, appears to be full tamed. And I'm going to say this is a thumb knife. It appears it has a lanyard, and I can't see because of the label, so we're going to open it up. The world's... Let's take a gander right here. There we go. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look. <gasps> Detached lanyard. Yeah. Now, this is interesting. When it said Molly on the back, I'm thinking this attaches to your Molly pack. You know, somehow or another. I'm not sure. There's the back sign. And th that that's aluminum or something, I'm not sure. I thought it was plastic because it looks like it's it looks like it's colored, like it's painted. But now Can you guess what this is before he does I'm going to i I'm just gonna go out on a weird just limb here. I'm going to say it's one of two things. Because of the size of it, my first initial my first initial guess, I got three guesses, was actually like some type of miniature neck knife. But now that I've got it in my hand, that doesn't it doesn't feel right. You got grips there for your fingers there on the back side. You got grips there and you got grips in the front, so I would assume that you would kinda of hold it in this position here. Second guess was uh some type of Thompson carbite knife sharpener and the only third guess I got is possibly a type of fire steel let's find out let's find out now, let me figure out how to open it <laughs> it is so that's a blade that's actually a blade very thick is it sharp it's got, I call it segregated edges on this side has a flat grind. I call this a pyramid grind. There, it actually has uh, this uh, blood port. Wow. Is it sharp? That dude's actually sharp. Try it on the plastic here. Try to get where the camera can see. Yeah, don't, don't do this at home. Don't cut back into your fingers like I'm about to do, but I'm doing this with the camera. Let's get back to <laughs> yes. Very nice. That's interesting. It's got a divot there, a divot there. Once it's in the case, you can't do that. No, no. That's not a blood. That's not a blood port. You know how the knives have, I don't know what it's usually called, they, uh, the bleeder, a bleeder. Because they design military knives to uh, actually take a human life and you stick it into somebody, they have that bleeder port that runs the knife, that's what they call it. But here it actually fits inside the scabbard, the scabbard itself, it's channeled. So this slides in there like that through the port, which is kind of neat. Is it really easy to pull out? Yes, it's, it's pretty easy, it just comes right out. You think you'll lose I, such I a would, thing? I thought it would be more of a snap. It don't feel like it snaps the blade. It's like... I don't think I'll lose that. I don't think if you have it in the upright position, it, you probably won't. So what the back looks like? Does it strap onto something? That's a weird combination. I don't know. It's almost like the scabbard itself... <clears throat> Is a two piece. And 
that appears to be a breakaway here. Not a breakaway, but a release. If you do put this, it has to go this way. This is my first time opening this thing, too, so I'll let him do this discovery for me. Uh, but I, can, I see what that's for already. It's, it's definitely two pieces. That's definitely some type of latch. This is probably molded out of two pieces and it's not really meant to come apart. And it doesn't appear that it straps on anyway. Right. Let's see if our ranger can, he can fool around with this thing. Okay, this is a little latch. Looks like it opens. It looks like it does, but... And it looks like that actually slides into the scabbard itself. I call it a scabbard or cornice. Okay. Let's see. Open this up. But they have some cords here for a lanyard. That's that's nice. Very yeah, nice. there's a little hole right there. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Or you can put it on the knife itself. It's kind of light. It looks like it comes apart, but it's just hard to take apart. If I take a wild guess, ah, I'm there just, she goes. There you go. Hey, hey, yeah. So I know where this goes. Ow. I lost you on the screen. Screen went blank. There we go. Yeah. Okay, now. I know where this goes. This goes on a Molly. You click this on. Ah. You click it on, you just put your knife back in. So after you put this on your Molly. On your bag, put your case thing back in, then it snaps. Then it's on your Molly now. Mm -hmm. Now you can have it up uh, like this on its side, so you can pull it out your Molly. You can have it upside down on your Molly. Uh, it depends on how your webbing is. Yeah, but see how how easy it is to pull out. That that I don't like that. So it would it would have to be up. Yeah, but a little twig or something can... All you got to do is brush it with a stick. <laughs> you know how sticks are in the real woods. They, yeah. They'll catch, man. Them little briars will get it. But if you were to put that on your molly pack, it's a little... I'd say sideways or definitely straight up and down. I got five of these coming. And I think it's a good little device just to have on your... Oh, yeah. I think that would be if, if people didn't complain... Man, that would make a, a very good uh, a striker for a, for a ferro rod because it's cool. sharp. Yeah, might work. But it's a good, it's a really good little cutting device. It's very what, very sharp. This is what I got this for, just in case I maybe forgot my knife. My knife is over there, and I'm right here by my bag, and I can just grab this little knife off my bag. I probably put it like this on my bag. I don't know. It depends on how the molly is going to go this way. Yeah. So if I could put it on there like that and clamp it. Yeah. And I could pull it off my bag. That's why I bought it for is a, a small knife for my Molly, or I could put it on my jacket if I can find a little area for it. Definitely gonna cut some cordage with that dude. See, yeah, that's that's neat. Right there. Put it right there if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Let's put it on a Molly scrap. Scrap. Listen to me. Okay, pull, pull the metal case out. Funny Molly. Oh, look, there's a piece of Molly here. So you pull it apart. And you place it on your Molly. Make sure you know which way you want your uh, your knife to face. It might be a little hard and complicated. There you go. Go in that like that, so mm -hmm. it's kind of complicated. Everything wants to be complicated, this, this, so you could be yelling and screaming. There she goes. I should have put this in there first, but <laughs> I 
I think this is not really a molly strap. It's pretty thick. So this is what it looks like on both sides. Oh. Yeah, this is a little thick than a normal molly strap. I'll tell you that. Let's see. There we go. Now I should probably go in there. Okay. Once you get it on, it's there. So you you probably say, "Oh, it's too complicated." No, it's not really too complicated. It's just you gotta just play with it until you get it. There she goes. Now she's on there. Now I think the, this little string part is for your knife, not this. Voila. Yeah, it's on there. So it's on there. There we go. Nice little uh, gift for Christmas. Yeah. Die! That's right. <laughs> Die! <laughs> 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 all right well there you go folks this is the uh the uh it's uh it's a uh well I, oh i broke it uh it's uh two halves there's the first half there's the other half and uh we put them back together and we have uh a big old long barcode so it's it's this whatever it is pause and read <laughs> <laughs> all right but, uh, well i'll read your cookie this is uh a little cool little neat gift to give to somebody i got five of these little suckers coming so i have one on my bag one on my survival vest one on my molly one on my other molly one on this on me see this is my survival jacket now i got one on my survival jacket now i get pulled over for having 20 knives and i and, and the cameraman is is uh hi hi my name is hi all right, see you next video. Turn off your machine. All right, I got another toy I want him to fool around with. He's going to take a wild guess what it is and see if he can put it together. Put it together? It appears to be uh, something very heavy. Another plate in the back. Bulletproof vest. Yeah, it's, it's definitely bulletproof. I'm just, it's got to be a shovel. Correct. Now put it together. <laughs> That's the tricky part. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of parts. And... Oh, it's even got a compass on it. That's cool as all get out, man. Where's north? That way. It's in north that way. Well, it's well, in north that way. It's in north. <laughs> you didn't let it go around. It ain't moving. <laughs> yeah, one thing about these compass, make sure you test this compass with a good compass. These yeah. button compass is not good, reliable source. They, they're not. So make yeah. sure you check your... Of course, it could be frozen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, these things are cold. Yeah, it's like ice uh, cold. This is a survival shovel. I can hear something floating around inside that. I'm going to investigate this part first. You should have your camera on for this one. Yes. Uh, yes. A point, a drop point. That would be good. This is just my opinion, and I'm not going to do this because I like the windshields in my vehicle. But a center punch or something <laughs> to bust a windshield. Mm -hmm. That's probably what it's designed to do. Ferrule rod built in. Check that out. It even comes out of the handle itself. Sweet. Appears to be our emergency whistle. Okay, okay, okay. We get the point. <laughs> we got the point. Oh, uh, 
They say to do the SOS, three whistle six. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, see, you got the... the uh... Ain't nobody rescued me yet. <laughs> it's oh, dot 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 dee 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 dot 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 yeah but a whistle it should be just three blows oh true that's, that's the universal sign for help on the whistle uh but that that's cool feral rod still got the uh coating on it of course we're not gonna try it cause, cause, you know, we, yeah. everybody's got ten thousand feral rods right <laughs> yeah you should, you should at least uh because we love playing with our gadgets and gizmos Something else is in there. Oh, check that out, man. Phillip head screwdriver. Standard flathead. Engineered to fit what appears to be. But, but, no, maybe you're wrong. Maybe you're wrong. It appears to go. Yeah, it goes there. there, but I don't want to force it because yeah. it's plastic. So. It but anyway, it would fit in there. And then you have your screwdriver to work with. That don't come out. I already tried it. Okay. Don't, don't come out. Neat. All right. Put this back. It feels like good aluminum machine grade material. This thing feels good. It's, it's, it's got some weight to it. It's not like it's going to break me. Uh, got this uh, silicone type of grommet here to make a nice connection. Let me go ahead and put the compass. I'm assuming the compass goes in this. Here. I'm not really sure. If it don't fit, don't force it. That's what I had a problem I'm with. Assuming it does. Putting it this easy. bitch back together. Yeah, there you go. Oh, see, that fits. That feels better. Now, whether this goes here or not, I'm not sure, but we're going to find out. And we got this pump here. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. <gasps> Ooh, a segregated blade. It's actually double segregated. It's got a point on this side and a set of points on this side. Don't know if you can see that or not. That's cool. Blade itself, it's fairly sharp. It's not going to be shaving hair or anything, but it'll definitely scrape that skin. So that will cut and uh let's see there's the sleeve that it was in there's a sleeve in there yeah we just leave that sleeve in yeah oh, i'm just gonna see if i can get out quite there it is yeah protects the blade while it's inside the, the handle here just a little cardboard sleeve but now hmm. Hmm. hold on Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that me? No, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At least I got the actual shell itself. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's some thread there, and yeah, it goes ready? into a pipe. Yeah, but no, no. Ah, fit that way. Never mind. Sorry. Always read the instructions. Didn't come with <laughs> this one did not come with instructions. Ah, uh, so you have to have someone like me who's able to figure puzzles out. Uh, shaft there, that would be your blade. Has a uh, bottle cap opener. To be honest, there's not many reasons for anybody to really remove bottle caps like in the old-fashioned way. You know. See, back in the day, uh, bottles were around everywhere, yeah. and to open it up, you need one of those, so you're going to break oh, the yeah. bottles. That's right, but now, most days, as y'all know, they're twist up. Yeah. So. Deal. But, still good to have. Um, it would be nice if that thing was actually some type of can opener. Yeah, mm. but here's a question for you. There's camo in this thing. I don't know if y'all can see it. And it's camo in this bag. So what 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 country where is this ca ca type of camo? I don't know, but wherever they're at, they got some red in their 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 clothes. So what country you think it's from or made for? Do, 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 do. Nope, 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 nope. 
นี้ yeah this is the fun part I had a, a very fun trying to put this bitch together I'm gonna say when the knife does fit in there right yeah that's not the way it was when I took it out ah uh -uh. Where's my knife go? That's what I'm wondering. So, everybody, you think did he put it together correctly, or? Well, I gotta get the knife in there. <laughs> I forgot how it, how it went in there. Whoa! Check that dude out. Man, dude got a saw. And uh, show everybody I the blade. There you is, go. Uh, this is actually what they call. I don't know what you officially call it, but this is actually a suction barrier breaker. When you, like, you got wet, wet mud, and you dig down, and you start to pull back, that's supposed to actually help break the suction. These right here, of course, for bolts and stuff like that, but they also act like suction holes to release the pressure. And that's what these right here are. But that right there would be, man, tell you what, you get anything upside the head with this puppy, they're going down. <laughs> and if you look at it, look at it more, because there's something you missed. I missed something? You missed something on the top part. What did top? he... Here? No, the other top. The other top. He saw the saw blade. What else he did? He didn't... Oh, well, you got a knife. And he, Oh, you check that out. I didn't look at the back. <laughs> you got a measure. You got a little ruler there. It appears to be one inches, so that's standard American. And you have a knife blade. That dude right there can do some damage. Seriously. But I gotta figure out how to get the knife up in Now, I thought about putting a flashlight in there. Now, shake it. Make sure it don't make no noise. Well, it's going to because of that um, Phillips head blade. In there. Correct. And that's why I'm thinking it needs to be pushed into the end of that plastic piece. That way it won't rattle. Because it, it slides into the handle itself. Hollow blade. I like this um, because it's a lot of weight. But as far as a uh, base count, just carrying it with you. There's a lot of good hollow space inside this handle. You can put stormproof matches, cotton balls, anything. Flashlight? Like a flashlight. A flashlight would be a great investment. Uh, do I have mine? I'll have to show you all something right quick. You can still have time. This is my pocket. It's this always is, in the last pocket you dig in. EDC. This is the Jet Beam flashlight. It's real simple. It uses the rechargeable battery, don't quote me because I don't remember the battery size, but it uses a double A battery that you can find anywhere. That's a good thing because, you know, if you need a battery, you can run to the convenience store. If you need a battery, you can go, you can go to McDonald's and probably get a battery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but a double A battery is all this operates on and it has three settings. And that would be the Firefly mode. All right, you twist, click, there's your medium settings. And then you twist, click, there's your high and this thing puts out if I'm not mistaken 150 lumens when you have a fresh battery that rechargeable battery that you put in there will bring this up to about 300 lumens and I've yet to buy that battery but it's a very beautiful lightweight super solid piece of machinery it's machine aluminum and it's a little bit weathered because I carry this thing in my pocket this pocket clip to me is the only negative thing about it it works as good as a pocket clip but i like to be able to put this on my cap 
and because the clip is reversed you can't reverse the clip to this side to make it work that's the only negative thing that I don't like there's a neat little item here uh, that standard thread that which we don't have because we're using the actual camera stand I've got well there's my camera over there you can actually mount this on your camera stand and be able to use this thing to point and shoot nighttime videos which is neat uh, but Interesting. very good but I'm going to try this inside the shoulder now you may want to wrap this up in some type of sleeve because this is evidently going to rattle inside probably right. some toilet paper that way it could be your your yeah, fire yeah, toilet paper you got to have some booty paper out there man oh wait wait this is where the knife goes we can't do it now we're working on it maybe the bottom part yeah let's go back toward the other one and this belongs to the ranger the fellow you all know go check out his video he did a little video in the shovel for survival mindsets video uh giveaway go check out that well that's not there how did you get down there you were up there <laughs> anyway let's just see if it'll fit oh so tight fit and you heard it pop in the clip the clip's the only thing that's just holding it back but damn you heard check that this check this out we're gonna pull the knife out i've got this lanyard on there i'm curious i don't know if it's gonna fit I'm very very curious yeah i think that clip is going to be in your way but you can use your standard uh like the matte light the Thunite t01 anything that's a small night a pin light that type of thing i was just curious to see if this was going to work you know you got to try try and error try and error like bone says okay. yep you never know what something's going to yeah, work and the clip is definitely in the way but i think if the clip was off it probably would all right don't tear your stuff up no, no. the clip comes off oh okay <laughs> <clears throat> tight tight clip Ooh, and pull this lantern off. Come on, come on, come on. Any day now. Any day now. There we go now. Jet beam. It just so happens. Uh -oh. Five seconds uh -oh. into the thing. Mm -mm. It's not gonna seal up all the way. It's not gonna go down for Well, at least we tried an error. Yeah. That's yeah. what it's yeah. all yeah. about. But oh, and I, I turned the flashlight on. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a horrible mistake going out there and find out your your battery is dead. That's right, because you. But you can always uh, flip your battery try around. Another, try another section somewhere. Yeah, the jet beam won't quite fit the diameter, but y'all get the point. Wait a minute. A small pin light. I'm thinking that once this goes around, it's going to twist the flashlight on, but I can't put it on here yeah. because it is. Mm. Well, yeah. at least we tried. Got all kinds of good cavity storage, y'all. Y'all get the point. But uh, yeah, that would have been brilliant. Instead of having this comp button compass here, it would have been nice if you could have turned it around and screwed this on the end of it and had your flashlight. Or a flashlight, you just push a button to yeah. turn that sucker yeah, on. Yeah, actually, flashlight would have been it's like the Rambo survival shovel. <laughs> that right there is a nice punch. I like that. But, no, yep. because of that right there. Still neat. I like that, man. That's cool. But anyway, gives you an idea. I'm amateur artist Martin D. Chandler here with all the Ranger cooking and uh trying out gear man look it's always fun doing some gear reviews because every day it's like christmas and well you gotta answer that one question what camo came from what 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 i have no idea it looks like something I would do. all right this is a russian shovel that's a russian camo a russian camo and a russian they got red leaves in there yeah it's from russia 
Almost like she will. Here's some war season, she. Well, that's French. Venn van Hooter. Venn de. Venn de. Venn de. Camel. <laughs> Alright, I guess we gotta see y'all later. Uh, I just wanna show man landed some of my new gear. Alright, I'll see you later. Say goodbye.